I'm potentially going to do TRT myself. And for somebody who's an avid natural, you know, I, lo I love the fact that I'm natural and I've got my own supplement company. I'm not trying to plug them yeah. right there. But um, for somebody who's managed to get in shape naturally, put in the hard work, it's taken four or five years or so, and I've managed to achieve a body that I think it, it would be considered, you know, by most men as something that they would want to chase after. I've then got to the point where I've kind of seen the guys that are above me who are in like fantastic shape, they're absolutely jacked, they look unbelievable, their lives are like that tier above and whatnot. And I've thought, well, how can they get to that level? Because genetically and you know, with a sporting background, I'm, I'm pretty decorated in that sense in football, boxing, athletics and whatnot, uh, more so than these guys. And I think, well, my body's not at that level and I've trained my ass off, if I can swear yeah, on the channel, yeah, God, um, for four or five years straight. And I still don't look like these guys. So then you come to the conclusion, well, perhaps, you know, they're using something. Um, so I, I was saying to my audience that I'm potentially going to do a TRT cycle. I'm going to, obviously I knew you were coming on, so we yeah. were going to discuss it. Uh, that was kind of before I knew that, like you said, once you're on it, you're on it for life. Yeah. But, you know, I kind of wanted to just blast it to a super, like, kind of physiological level. That wouldn't be a TRT cycle. No, it would be, be steroids. steroids. Cycle, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there can be repercussions of, yeah, yeah. of that, as I explained. You know, my scenario, mm -hmm. it's even going on TRT through a doctor at first, only to be taken off of it, mm -hmm. the issues that arise from that. But, you know, I like the disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, you see my channel, I can see whatever yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a lot easier. Um, but it's kind of like, it, I, I got to a point where I thought, okay, maybe I could do something. Maybe I could just like, even though I've got a supplement company, maybe my audience will let me off with this, you know. Um, is it still a taboo? And obviously raising the question, I think it's the best kind of response I've ever had from something like this or something that I've seen about this topic. Most guys who raise this, it's just 100% shit. That's what they get. I think I got, because my audience trusts me and obviously I'm not, going to, I've not made my mind up that I'm 100% going to do this yet, it was like a 50-50 split. 50% of the audience was still like, you're going to mess your body up, you know, this is the worst thing that you can do, why are you doing this, you're already in great shape. And one thing I've really been thinking about lately is why do these kind of elite guys do it? Is it financial gain? Is it because they've got you know, negatives going on with their body, side effects that we don't know about. Their life looks perfect on the surface. They're a jacked guy, but maybe their penis doesn't work or something, we don't know. Um, but the other factor I thought is that, you know, training becomes boring after a while. So if you've been training for four or five years and you've just kind of plateaued and you're not really getting any gains and you're only getting older, yeah. then there's a part of you that thinks, okay, well, if I take this stuff, the gym becomes fun again. You know, so that was like my way of thinking, but the taboo, from the audience, it was still there. You know, a lot of people still saying, you shouldn't do this, you look great naturally, it's gonna mess your body up, whatever. And I think it's almost, especially in the UK and the US, because that's my two main audiences, yeah. I think the main factor is that you've earned it. I think we've still got that, we've still got that thing in our brains as men, where it's like, you haven't cheated, you haven't gone outside. It's like having sex with a woman, or paying for an escort. Same thing, but completely different. The lads are going to come up to you, the, the boys, if you're American, you know, guys yeah. are listening, and they're going to be like, well done, you had sex last night, congratulations. <laughs> if you go, it was an escort, I paid for it. They're like, oh, do you know what I mean? It's not yeah, the yeah, same yeah, effect, the same, is it? Yeah. So I think somewhat people look at it like that and think, okay, you've, um, you know, even though it's TRT and it's necessary, because obviously something's happened to you or your body or the environment around you has negatively impacted you. So it's only restoring what you once had, you know, which is very similar to something else that I'll bring on to yeah. in a minute. It's only restoring something you once had. It's not quite enhancing you as such, you know, but it's still that negative, like TRT is so associated with steroids. As soon as I mention it, people always say steroids. It's yeah. like, but the two are different. That's why it's replacement. Replacement is yeah. the key word there, isn't it? replacing what you had before and that was what was going to bring me on to um, hair and hair yeah, loss yeah. because this is something this was massively taboo if something like if a guy had a wig it was the worst thing ever I remember I was on holiday a bit of comedy for you here yeah. I was on holiday and uh, we were at this zoo and they, they were doing this falcon show and whatever it was a little tired and uh, this falcon was uh, supposed to chase this fake rabbit or whatever so the woman threw the rabbit the falcon took off swirled around came in like initiated a you know what was supposed to be a kill but it, was, it wasn't real 
And then the falcon just kind of took off at one point, and it like as it flew down, it took this wig off this man's head. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing I've yeah, ever yeah. seen. And the whole audience were obviously like laughing and like pointing at this guy and whatever. And the taboo of having a wig for a man was just like end of the world. It was terrible. Oh my God, underneath there, you're bold. Yeah. A woman can wear a wig and it doesn't mean anything, right? And I've seen over the last, I'm only 29, but I've seen over the last like, let's say 10 years that I've been in this industry as such, hair transplants used to be laughed at. You know, if a guy said he's getting a hair transplant, it was like, what on earth is wrong with you? It's so weird. Whereas now, like I myself have SMP, which is a head tattoo, and there's so many different treatments out there. There's so many, so many different procedures that you can get. It's almost got to the point now where people go, why wouldn't you do it? You know, you're, you, you've lost your hair. Why wouldn't you just replace it? It's that easy to do. I think testosterone, TRT, is going the same way. I think, yes, there's a taboo, but I think especially in the Western world, we're going, wait, hang on a minute. You're libido restores, your energy restores, uh, your gym efforts obviously improve, your energy, your sleep, you go, why, why wouldn't you do it? Why? Nobody wants to get old. Nobody wants that lower back pain as they're getting older, not saying it will cure that, but we all want to prevent it, whether that's skincare, whether it's hair, whether it's doing yoga to make sure that your body's you know, more flexible, uh, whether it's you know, stop going on nights out and drinking alcohol and stop smoking cigarettes. Everybody's doing something, it's just TRT is just like a, it's a modern format of that and I just don't think people are aware of it.